Hello. So uh, we're here on episode seven, and um, we're getting a bit uh, concerned really that Scott seems to be having too much of a good time where he is. So how are you doing? It's all right. It's not too bad here. It's uh, quite warm. It's very yeah. nice. Sunny. Whereas the rest of us have to knuckle down here with the um, clouds looming over us. Uh, so we'll start off by having a look at your video, Scott. Yeah. Uh, do you want to introduce us to it? Yeah, so um, again, while I'm, I'm here, I'm not complaining, but obviously no, no manual settings or anything for the the challenge, so it was all done on my phone, um, trying to find things around the apartment and around where we were to get the three different angles. Um, so I think by the end of the video you'll probably have a clue at what I've done. Some pretty good bit of b-roll that you did on that. Yeah, um, it was funny because I put the uh, I actually put the can in the freezer for a little bit first to try and get some condensation on it. Oh yeah. Um, but what happened was it, it, it didn't actually work that well because the day that I did it, it was a bit cooler. Right. Um, so it didn't form. So I actually got a spray bottle and used the spray bottle to kind of add some fake condensation. Oh, on fix of the trade. Yeah, I put it on a uh, on a glass table so that I could do the the shot underneath, but I couldn't quite get it where there was um, no reflections underneath. Obviously, no polarizer or anything when I was using the phone. Thing, wasn't it? So it was. Uh, yeah, it didn't last long that beer after I finished taking pictures. I'll tell you that. Yeah, well, I expected it to be like a crunched up can, but uh, you did well to uh, avoid drinking it then. Uh, well, look at mine then. So mine wasn't um, ex as exotic as Scott, but um, either way, this is my take on it. This is take three twice. I forgot to record this. So um, we're talking perspective. Are we talking perspective? Yes, we're talking. Taking a picture from three different angles. That's the challenge this week. Um, so this taking one from um, eye level, taking one from the ground facing up, and then taking one from the top facing down, as we've already mentioned. Um, so I'm going to show you the first one now, which is at eye level. Let's have a look. So this one is, um, well, it's just at eye level. That's if you're the same height as me. Most people do look down on me to a certain degree, but there's nothing unusual about the picture itself, and um, yeah, let's see if we can be a bit more creative with the next one. So the next one I'm going to show you then is 
from the ground facing up. Let's have a look. Okay, so this is what it's like normally when I'm talking to Scott. <laughs> Um, you know, it's it's quite a massive contrast from the one previously. It's the same person. It's just being taken from a lower angle. And whilst it's possibly extreme, um, you know, you can take reasonable pictures below eye level. You know, depending on what sort of mood you try to create. If you're taking a picture of a person, do you want them to look like they've got an authoritative? Uh, figure where they're slightly looking down um, and when you take pictures of anything else you might get to see things which you previously didn't see um, beforehand. Let's have a look at the last one. Now the last one is the exact same picture as this one but looking from above down and um, this one's gonna blow your mind I think blow your mind but let's have a look wow okay so that one is <laughs> facing down and can you see how sm small that I look on this one um, very 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 little Photoshop done on this one and um, I think you'll admit that the difference between the one below and then the one above is worlds apart there's a massive difference to how each one looks and the feel of each one. Um, so that's my challenge this week. It was hard really to, to think about what to do in the short space of time that I had to do it really, but um, yeah, that was it. Uh, and, uh, Good fun. Yeah, and sorry about the Scott joke. It obviously went down like a um, sack of spuds that. That was a joke by the way. <laughs> Yeah, we'll, we'll see. Yeah. Uh, Alright, so that is it this week. It's quite short, but are you back in sunny England next week? I could, yeah, I come back on Saturday. Um, yeah, not looking forward to that to be honest because I've got two weeks of quarantine to look forward to. Oh dear. yeah, yeah, yeah. So we'll have to do an indoorsy challenge then. Yeah, something that you can do in house. Yeah, so we'll have a think about what we're going to do and then we'll stick a poll out over the next day or so and leave this down to you guys. Yeah, right. make it easy. Yeah.